all these it's years. It's great. It's great. In one sense, it seems like nothing's changed because the people are here, the same people. And But then, of course, the infrastructure has changed. The league. It's a new league. It's another league. But, uh, yeah, I feel comfortable, very comfortable being here. You, you say, oh, Serie A, you don't do that stuff. Maybe you don't need to because they're Serie A. No, they're, they're young players. They're young guys. They're, they're, they're players that need direction, uh, whether they be Premiership, uh, MLS, or Serie A, or Bundesliga, everybody, or even the smallest league in the world in uh, Liechtenstein or in Malta. Uh, you need, uh, they need direction. Simple. It's not going to change at all. And I think, you know, the quality here, some of these players, they could play in Serie A for sure. They could play in Europe. I'm Italian. You know, we, we like our defense, right? <laughs> We've always been known for our uh, strong defense. And um, uh, I don't like getting scored. You know, nobody likes getting goals scored on them. And everybody likes uh, to have clean sheets, especially the goalkeeper. So we're going to try to make that happen. And... Um, we're going to do some theory. We're going to do some uh, on-field uh, tactics. We're going to get the team, as they say here in America, they, uh, in, in Canada, America, they call it shape, defensive shape and organization. And that's what we're going to do. And uh, I've done it wherever I've been. You know, we, were, we had a great defense in Napoli. That was one of our secrets. Uh, we had a great defense last year in D.C., you know, coming from a terrible season the year before. Uh, I wasn't there, but... And then we worked on that, and I worked on that, and that's what they, they brought me there for, right? But primarily for, for to work on the defense, because I come from, a, I was fortunate enough uh, to uh, to come from the generation of the man to man, back in the in the late mid uh, late seventies, early eighties. It was man to man back then. It was a big guy would mark the the central striker. The other smaller, quicker defender would mark the the smaller uh, second forward. And then the zone defense came into picture. So I, I got the pioneers of that, working with people that work with the Rigosaki, the famous Rigosaki that uh, invented this, uh, the zone defense, the four-man zone defense. So I'm, I'm very lucky, I feel lucky because I got both worlds. I know how to teach man-to-man -man marking, which somebody says, you know, it's, uh, it's disappeared in the world. It's criticized. People are criticizing the, the soccer today and the players and the coaches because uh, nobody knows how to mark man to man anymore. And uh, you, in the box, you have to mark man to man when you're in the box. But so I, I got both worlds there, and I'm gonna, you know, try to do my best to transfer this to the to the players and to the as a unit. And uh, and of course, defense starts with the first forward for me, for us, for the. <laughs> For me, uh, Frank and Mauro were on the same page there. We know that, uh, you know, in modern football, you you got to have 10 guys defending. So, you know, and uh, that takes organization and uh, and it takes uh, work. And we're going to we're going to do that.